Welcome to video 10, preparing the income statement. In video 9, we prepared the first of the three main financial statements that uh, are the result or the outcome of a good financial accounting system. Now, the income statement is sometimes called the profit and loss statement. And the vernacular in uh, industry is sometimes to call that simply the P and L statement. Now the P&L is merely a summary of all changes in equity earned for a period. Um, for example, remember when we spent $1,000 for advertising during the month and cash went down, we call that an operating activity. Recall that we also reduced equity earned because when we spent this money, we didn't buy another asset like a building or inventory. We didn't. Uh, when we spent the money, we didn't pay back our liabilities. Instead, our equity went down in the pursuit of revenues, and we call that advertising expense. Also, when we sold our inventory, recall that the inventory, when we sold it, we subtracted the 10000 from inventory, and we subtracted 10000 from equity earned, and we call that cost of goods sold expense. So when that asset was used up or expired, we wrote it off the books. Recall that it had a balance of 10 when we bought it. When we wrote the inventory off, we subtracted 10,000 from equity earned. And pardon my penmanship, but I hopefully you'll understand that EQ is called equity earned. And now after making our adjusting entries uh, at the end of the period, recall that at the end of the period, we had three more entries to equity earned. We subtracted 500 right here for depreciation. We subtracted 200 right here for the rent that expired. Actually, not rent, insurance rather. And we subtracted 1750 because we owed the bank more in interest. So we have three more expenses here under equity earned. So our equity earned went down during the period, another, as we said, 500 for depreciation. It went down another 200 for insurance. And it went down another 1750 for interest. Also recall that equity earned went up during the period because of our revenues when we sold the bike. So, when we compute or prepare an income statement, we look at all changes in equity earned during a period, which by definition are revenues and expenses, and we make it look like a nice formal sheet, just like we did for the balance sheet. But for an income statement, let's go ahead and put up a new sheet here, and we're gonna say um, John Doe income statement for the month ended FME for a month ended 73113 this formal statement goes uh, will be issued to the bankers or perhaps the investors or the government when preparing its tax return the income statement always starts with revenues and it subtracts out its number one expense which for a company that sells goods for retail will be uh, bikes sold its cost of bikes sold and remember, in this case, we sold 10 bikes at 1,000 each. Our revenues were $30,000, which was 10 bikes at 3,000 sales price. Our cost of bikes sold were 10 at a cost of 1,000. So you see, our revenues were 30, our cost of goods sold was 10. On the nice formal looking income statement, the resultant number is called gross profit. Another name for gross profit is sometimes called gross margin. Next, we must subtract out our operating expenses. And our operating expenses reduced our uh, equity earned by, let's take a look here, our operating expenses were advertising, uh, depreciation, and insurance. Interest is usually referred to as a non-operating item. So let's take our advertising, depreciation, and insurance. 
Operating expenses are a thousand of advertising, depreciation of five hundred, and insurance of two hundred. And labeling this advertising expense, uh, depreciation expense, and um, insurance expense. You add those three numbers up, you get seventeen hundred to subtract to get a number called income from operations. That would be 18,300. We now subtract our non-operating income called interest expense of 1750. And what do we get? 18,000 less 1750 had better be the amount that agrees with our balance sheet. That should be 16,650, uh, um, 16, does that agree? Actually, 16,550. With our balance sheet, um, our balance sheet shows net income to be 16,550. And that's exactly agrees with our income statement. In summary, the income statement is merely a formal uh, formatting of all changes in equity earned. Revenues increase equity earned. Expenses reduce equity earned. The bottom line number, folks, is called net income. The net income number, which reflects all changes in equity, will also be shown on your balance sheet after equity contributed. Revenues less expenses equals 16,550, which exactly equals this number. This concludes video number 10.